what is the primary function of white blood cells wbc's in the human body your options are transportation of oxygen defense against infections blood clotting or nutrient absorption the correct answer is b that is defense against infections white blood cells play a crucial role in the immune system defending the body against pathogens such as bacteria viruses and other foreign invaders question number 2 dear friends have you ever wondered that how our body fights off infections today we are talking about white blood cells the tiny superheroes inside us in this video we have got 25 most important and most repeated questions about them it is going to be very important informative video about white blood cells so get comfort and hit that subscribe button and let's learn together about these awesome defenders keeping us always healthy let's continue which type of white blood cell is responsible for phagocytosis and engulfing pathogens your options are lymphocytes neutrophils monocytes or eosinophils the correct answer is b that is neutrophils neutrophils are the most abundant type of white blood cell and are known for their ability to engulf and digest microorganisms through a process called phagocytosis question number 3 which white blood cells are involved in antibody production and immune memory immune memory your options are monocytes eosinophils lymphocytes and basophils the correct answer is c that is lymphocytes lymphocytes especially b cell and t cells play a key role in adaptive immunity by by producing antibodies and forming immune memory question number 4 what is the normal range of white blood cell count in adults per microliter of blood your options are 3000 to 7000 8000 to 12000 15000 to 20000 or 25000 to 30000 the correct answer is b that is 8000 to 12000 the normal range for white blood cell count in adults is typically between 8000 and 12000 cells per microliter of blood question number 5 which white blood cells release histamine and heparin during allergic reaction and inflammation your options are basophils neutrophils monocytes or eosinophils the correct answer is a that is basophils basophils release histamine and heparin contributing to the inflammatory response and allergic reactions question number 6 what is the life span of a typical white blood cell in the blood stream your options are few hours few days few weeks and or few months the correct answer is b that is few days most white blood cells have a relatively short life span in the blood stream typically lasting only a few days before being replaced question number 7 which condition is characterized by an abnormally low white blood cells count Your options are leukocytosis, neutropenia, leukemia, or lymphoma. The correct answer is B. That is neutropenia. Neutropenia is a condition where there is a decreased number of neutrophils, leading to an increased risk of infections. Question number eight. What is the primary function of eosinophils among white blood cells? Your options are phagocytosis, 
antibody production, allergic response or blood clotting? The correct answer is C that is allergic response. Eosinophils play a role in allergic responses and defense against parasites through the release of toxic substances. Question number 9. Which white blood cells are actively involved in the removal of dead cells and cellular debris? Your options are neutrophils, monocytes, lymphocytes or basophils. The correct answer is B that is monocytes. Monocytes transform into macrophages which are responsible for engulfing and digesting dead cells and cellular debris. Question number 10. What is the term for an elevated white blood cell count in the bloodstream? Your options are leukocytosis, neutropenia, thrombocytosis or anemia. The correct answer is A that is leukocytosis. Leukocytosis refers to an increased number of white blood cells in the bloodstream, often indicative of an infection or inflammation. Question number 11. Which white blood cells are involved in the formation of pus at the site of infection? Your options are monocytes, neutrophils, lymphocytes or basophils. The correct answer is B that is neutrophils. Neutrophils are the first responders to infections, migrating to the site and releasing enzymes that contribute to the formation of pus. Question number 11. What is the term for a decrease in the number of all types of blood cells, including white blood cells as well? Your options are leukemia, pancytopenia, neutropenia or thrombocytopenia. The correct answer is B that is pancytopenia. Pancytopenia is a condition characterized by a reduction in the number of red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. Question number 13. Which white blood cells are responsible for coordinating and regulating immune responses? Your options are neutrophils, lymphocytes, eosinophils, or monocytes. The correct answer is B that is lymphocytes. Particularly, T cells play a crucial role in coordinating and regulating immune responses against specific pathogens. Question number 14. What is the term for an abnormally high white blood cells count associated with leukemia? Your options are leukocytosis, leukopenia, lymphocytosis or leukemia. The correct answer is A that is leukocytosis. Leukocytosis refers to an elevated white blood cells count and, and in the context of leukemia, it often indicates an abnormal increase in leukemia cells. Question number 15. Which white blood cells are release chemicals that mediate inflammation and allergic reactions? Your options are Eosinophils, basophils, neutrophils or monocytes. The correct answer is B that is basophils. Basophils release chemicals like histamine during inflammation and allergic reactions, contributing to the characteristic symptoms. Question number 16. What is the primary function of what is the primary function of natural killer NK cells among white blood cells? Your options are phagocytosis, antibody production, killing infected cells or allergic response. 
the correct answer is C that is killing infected cells. Natural killer NK cells are cytotoxic and play a crucial role in identifying and killing virus infected cells without the need of antibodies. Question number 17. In which part of the body does hematopoiesis, the formation of blood cells, primarily occur in adults? Your options are liver, spleen, bone marrow or kidneys. The correct answer is C that is bone marrow. Hematopoiesis occurs primarily in the bone marrow where stem cells differentiate differentiate into various blood cell types including white blood cells. Question number 18. What is the term for an excess of white blood cells in the blood, often indicative of leukemia? Your options are leukocytosis, leukopenia, leukemia or lymphocytosis. The correct answer is C that is leukemia. Leukemia is a type of cancer characterized by an overproduction of abnormal white blood cells. Question number 19. Which white blood cells are involved in the formation of memory cells for long term immunity? Your options are monocytes, eosinophils, memory cells or Lymphocytes. The correct answer is D that is lymphocytes. Lymphocytes, specifically memory cells, play a key role in maintaining long term immunity by remembering previous infections. Question number 20 What is the term for the process by which white blood cells move towards the site of infections through blood vessels wall? Your options are diapedesis, phagocytosis, chematoxis, or hematopoiesis. The correct answer is A that is diapedesis. Diapedesis is the process of white blood cells squeezing through blood vessel walls to reach the site of infection or inflammation. Question number 21. Which white blood cells release enzymes to break down parasites and large pathogens? Your options are neutrophils, eosinophils, lymphocytes or monocytes. The correct answer is B that is eosinophils. Eosinophils release enzymes that are particularly effective against larger parasites contributing to the body's defense against parasitic infections. Question number 22. What is the term for the formation of abnormally low levels of white blood cells in the bone marrow? Your options are myeloproliferative disorder, aplastic anemia, leukemia or lymphoma. The correct answer is B that is aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia is a condition where the bone marrow fails to produce enough blood cells, including white blood cells. Question number 23. Which white blood cells are involved in the regulation of inflammation and immune responses? Your options are monocytes, neutrophils, lymphocytes and or basophils. The correct answer is A that is monocytes. Monocytes when transformed into macrophages play a crucial role in regulating inflammation and immune responses by phagocytosing pathogens and producing signaling molecules. Question number 24. What is the term for a sudden increase in the number of white blood cells often seen in response to an acute infection? Your options are leukopenia, leukocytosis, lymphocytosis or neutropenia. 
The correct answer is B that is leukocytosis. Leukocytosis is a natural response to infections where the body increases the production of white blood cells to combat the invading pathogens. Question number 25. Which white blood cells are associated with the chronic inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis? Your options are neutrophils, eosinophils, lymphocytes or monocytes. The correct answer is A that is neutrophils. Neutrophils are involved in the inflammatory response and can contribute to chronic inflammation as seen in condition like rheumatoid arthritis. So friends, it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey into the world of white blood cells. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.